Hi Shopify merchants, in this video I'll be walking through how to create a mix and match bundle. So first go to your Simple Bundles and Kids app and navigate to your Bundles tab. There are two ways of creating mix and match bundles. One is using the Simple Bundles method and the other is the Infinite Options Bundle method. And the difference between these two is if you use the Infinite Options Bundle method, um, you'll be able to exceed Shopify's 100 variant limit or three option limit, as well as create much more complex bundle offerings. So first we'll go through how to create a mix and match bundle using the simple bundles method. Because we don't yet have a bundle product set up, we're going to create a new bundle product. For our first bundle, we'll name this typical mix and match bundle using simple bundles builder. And for the discount, we can set this to anything you'd like, uh, but for now we'll leave it at zero. And then we'll also set our bundle as active. We can now add the products. So within our mix and match bundle, we'll include a uh, glow dew drops. And then we'll also add in the rose hydration moisturizer with four variants. So now you can see that we have 40 product variants set up. If we were to add more, we could potentially exceed Shopify's 100 variant limit, in which case we would use the infinite options builder instead. On the left-hand side, you can also see a preview of the options that your customers will be able to view on the products page. So now that everything has been set up, um, you can see that the image hasn't been added yet. So we're going to save and continue and go ahead and add the image because this is a new product. Now that the product has been created, we're going to go into Shopify and add in our mix and match image. All right, now that our mix and match image has been loaded, we're going to go back into our bundles page. So now you can see that the image has been loaded as well as the inventory has been updated. You can see that the inventory for the bundle corresponds to the number that's available for each of the individual products. For each of these options, you can also further customize them by modifying the discount as well as updating the bundle compare price so that your customers know the deal that they're getting by purchasing the mix and match. Now that we're done creating the bundle, we can go into our website here, Bloom Beauty Skincare, and test out our bundle. So on our products page, you can see that our style and skin type options are now available. For all of the options where there is no more inventory left for that particular product, um, that's crossed out so that you don't oversell. So select green tea and normal, and we'll add that to cart. Here you can see that the bundle has been added to cart, and we'll check out. And we'll go ahead and check out. Now that the order has been created, we can go into our orders. And now we can see in this order that the individual components of the bundle has now been added into the order. So here we can see that these two products are part of our mix and match bundle, as well as the variants that our customer has selected. Now that we've built our first mix and match bundle using the simple bundles builder, we're going to build our next bundle using the infinite options bundle builder. So in this case, um, we'll want to build a bundle that exceeds Shopify's 100 variant or three option limit. So go ahead and select that. And then we'll also create a new product. For our infinite options bundle, uh, we'll name this a uh, typical mix and match using infinite options builder. And we'll also set this as active. So on our infinite options builder, you can choose to add products without variants or add products with variants. In our example today, I'll show our bundle containing products with variants. So in our bundle, we'll include the glow dew drops with 10 variants. So we're going to add all of these. We'll also add the moisture barrier cleanser with six variants. So you can see as I'm adding all of these products, they're all appearing here. And lastly, I'll add the moisturizer which has four variants. So here you can see for product number one, I have a single drop down that allows the customer to select all of these variants. For product number two, it actually has two options, one for the style and one for the type. And for our third product, we only have one option. So on your left-hand side, you can see a preview of the drop downs. So because our second product has two options, the customer will also be able to see the two. Now you see that our bundle has been created. The only thing that's missing here is our price. So we'll price that at, at $150. We'll save that. We can also see that the inventory has been updated as well. Now we can test our bundle by going into the Bloom Beauty Skincare website. And here you can see the bundle that we just created. See that it's a price at $150. 
I have the option to select all of my variants in each of the options. Where there is no inventory left for that particular product, you'll see that it's been grayed out so that you'll never oversell. Next, we'll add this product to cart. We'll check out. And here you can see all the options that the customer has selected, as well as a breakdown of all of the products that belong to that bundle. Now we'll go ahead and check out. Now that our order has been created, we'll go back into our bundles tab, select orders. And here we can see the order that was just created containing all of the contents of the bundle that the customer had selected. And those are the two ways of building a mix and match bundle using the simple bundles method or the infinite options bundle method. If you need some help selecting which one works best for your scenario, feel free to contact our support team.